Christmas memories. Currently, it is December 5th at 10 a.m. in the morning, and I thought it would be fun to do my everyday makeup routine. I do have extremely dry skin, so before I even go ahead and do my makeup, I go and wash my face and scrub it pretty hard because above my eyebrows right here and right here next to my nose is always super, super dry. When I go and actually put on my foundation and stuff, it ends up being kind of flaky, and I don't like that, so I take my scrubber and I really scrub in my face but yeah I'm gonna go end up doing that I'll take you guys with me and then I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine done with my pre makeup skincare routine I did obviously get my eyebrows microbladed so I'm gonna be taking care of those real quick all I'm gonna be taking is a q-tip and then I have a little container filled with aquaphor that they gave me and so you're just gonna dab it a little bit morning and night and then applying that all over my eyebrows because they do get you know dried out and it's like a semi-permanent tattoo and when you do get tattoos they also have you put aquaphor on your actual tattoos to help it heal so I'm just gonna apply a little bit all the way throughout my eyebrow and then I will just wipe away the excess You can definitely feel the scabbing on your eyebrows. Before we get started, I just want to do a quick disclaimer and say that I am no makeup guru. I just thought it would be fun to share my everyday makeup routine because I love watching other girls and finding out their tips and tricks that they do. And a lot of my makeup routine that I have learned has been specifically from YouTube. So thank you all the ladies that have uploaded their makeup routine videos because it's taken me a long time to get to my current makeup routine. And I have been probably doing this same one for a year, maybe a little bit longer. The first thing that I start off with is this photo loving primer by NYX. It's Studio Perfect and this is what it looks like. And I just dab a little bit on my finger, like the smallest amounts because my pores are kind of big. So I use this to kind of fill in my pores before I go ahead and put my foundation on. So I just rub it all over my face. Then I just do a little bit more and I go ahead and put it above my eyebrows. While I kind of let that sink in, I normally do my eyebrows. However, like I've stated before, my eyebrows are currently microbladed and they're in the process of healing, so I cannot put any sort of makeup on it. I will just go over what I currently use on my eyebrows. So I have been using this Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit for a really long time. Like I have this one, however it is empty, and now I have a new one. And I just get the shade 3 because that is kind of what... My eyebrows are is a little bit of a darker brown that matches my natural hair up here. Literally, I just do a small tip. I will normally start outlining my eyebrows first. I'm not going to do it, but I'll kind of just show you. So I'll start in the corner right here. And then I will just outline my eyebrows all the way down here. And then I'll kind of go about three quarters of the way to the front of my brow. And then I outline right here all the way down and touch the edge or the corner down here. And then in the front, I will start filling in my eyebrow. So I'll start at the bottom and do like individual hair strokes like this. And I'll just dot all the way throughout my eyebrow to kind of give it a more natural look. And then once I'm done with that, I will just take the spoolie and just comb through it, comb up, comb through, and then I'll comb down because I will have some bald spots or like missing spots in here if I don't comb down. So I'll comb down, then I will refill those spots in 
and then I will just comb through it one more time. I literally just do that on both my eyebrows and it takes me literally probably 30 seconds each brow. The next thing I do while I'm waiting for the primer to still soak into my skin is I outline my eyebrows with this Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer and I use the color Fair Neutral. And then I have the James Charles brush kit. And so I use his M508 brush. So what I do is I just take the concealer and I take this brush and I just dab a little bit on the end of the brush. And I go ahead and I start in the corner of the eyebrow and I just start outlining. I'm trying to be careful not to get it actually on the eyebrow itself but I love outlining because it just makes your eyebrows look so much sharper and I'll just go ahead and drag it down and then I will just take my finger and go ahead and just kind of blend it in and I only do the bottom now I don't do the top like I used to so I'm just going to do the other side real quick <laughs> Now that my eyebrows are done, I go ahead and go into my foundation and I am currently using the nude Born This Way Too Faced foundation and it is medium to full coverage. And then I do have a green sponge. I did dampen it so it's a little bit damp on the bottom of it because it just kind of makes it more moisturized when it goes onto your skin. So I'm going to add a squirt down at the bottom right here. And then I go ahead and I just start applying it all over my face. And this color is a little bit darker because and i did go lighter compared to the one that i did have but honestly it's just really hard i'm just too pale for foundation honestly so i just kind of work with it and i will blend it down my neck i guess once i get there i'm gonna go ahead and speed up this process because it takes me like forever to put foundation on for some reason so time lapse <music> Now I'm going to take just a little bit and kind of drag it down my neck so it kind of blends in. After my foundation, I go ahead and apply my bronzer and I just have the Hulu by Benefit bronzer and I absolutely love this. I've had it for a really long time. Then I go ahead and take this infused angled powder brush from Sephora and I just put some on here i go ahead and put the bronzer right below the bones of my cheeks and when i do that i go ahead and do the clip so i can kind of see where the cheeks of my bones are and i kind of drag it up and i do circular blending motions when i come back down I then go ahead and outline my entire face. So I start on the top of my middle of my forehead and I just blend over and drag it down my face. And then I go ahead and switch sides just to kind of make it blend a little more and not seem so harsh. I will just do it right on the bottom of my chin right here. I then go ahead and outline my nose. I have seen a lot of individuals do this and I think it looks really good. And ever since I started doing it, I kind of find what works for me. And I take James Charles Morphe M124 brush. It's kind of a smaller brush. And then I just dab a little bit of the powder onto my brush. And then I will just like kind of start in the middle-ish of my nose and just draw a straight line down. And it's gonna look kind of harsh at first, but then I go ahead and blend it. And then I just put a little bit on the end of my nose, right there. And then I take James Charles like angled brush and it's a little bit fluffier. And I go ahead and use this to blend it out. After I have finished doing my bronzer, I go ahead and I put blush on. I have this Sephora blush and I'm not sure what shade it is, but it's like a pinkish pinkish orange and i really love this shade i just go ahead and take that angled powder brush again and i just kind of wipe off the excess of the bronzer and i put a little bit just kind of on the tip of the angled brush 
and I usually smile and I know a lot of people like they don't want it to be on the cheeks but that's just where I put mine I know a lot of people will kind of drag it up but I just put mine on the cheeks the apples of my cheeks so I go ahead and smirk and I just apply it I'm gonna go ahead and do eyeshadow today just because I'm feeling it, but I'm not gonna get too technical into it. We're just gonna go ahead and add some red. I'm gonna be taking my Naked Urban Decay heat palette that my dad got for me like many Christmases ago. I don't even know when that was. And I just do a base coat and I'm going to be using the color ounce and it's just kind of like this whitish color down here at the bottom. And I just apply that all over my lid. When I'm just doing something like this, I don't add eyeshadow primer just because I don't know I just am lazier if it's just kind of like one single solid color if it was gonna be more advanced I'd probably apply it but I'm not gonna do that today like I said I just kind of apply this neutral color all over my lid and that's basically what I'm just gonna be doing with the other colors as well I'm not gonna get too too much in depth with it since I added that neutral color I'm gonna go ahead and take James Charles morphe mini palette and I absolutely love this palette It has so many different colors since I'm going for a little bit Christmasier shade, I'm just going to be taking this burgundy red color right here. And I'm just going to be using the fluffy side again and just dabbing it a little bit on there. And then hitting the excess off so I don't have a fall off down here. And I'm just going to apply that all over my lid. Okay, it honestly looks like a clown right now and totally a mess and I'm okay with that because I do fix it up in a second. But I want to add some sparkles to this red so I'm just going to be taking this sparkly-ish color up at the top right here in his palette. This one. And I don't know what shade that is but I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my lids. And I kind of press a little bit harder because this is like a sparklier type eyeshadow. Okay, so that is what I'm going to be doing for my eyeshadow. So what I'm going to be doing to clean it up is I use a Q-tip and I just kind of get the end of it wet with my mouth. And then I just go ahead and I kind of do an like a clean outline of the eyeshadow. I know that's probably not how you do it, but that's honestly how I do it to kind of clean it up. The next thing I'm going to be applying is whenever I do eyeshadow, I go ahead and apply this liquid liner from Revlon. And it just comes in this little container and i've had this for a long time this stuff lasts forever i don't even know when i got it but I, i'm not perfect at eyeliner i kind of just throw it on and i'm happy with how it lands on my face but i also do a winged liner so i start in the corner right here and then i go all the way through and i do a slight winged liner so and i love liquid i don't know i just i feel like it's more bold and stands out better so It's kind of hard to do it because my false lashes that I have kind of stick up so the eyeliner always gets on the tips of the lashes and I have to wipe them off. There's no like particular way, I just kind of drag it up till I feel like that looks good. And I like doing a winged liner because I just feel like it makes my eyelashes look more full because they kind of blend in with the winged liner out here. And I just love doing that. So now that's good for that side. So I'm just going to go ahead and switch to this side. Once I'm done with that, I go ahead and I take my lash spoolie and I go ahead and I fix my lashes because they're all kind of clumped together right now. But I kind of wait till the end because there's no point fixing them because I literally go over them so many times. But I was supposed to get my lashes redone, like refilled a couple days ago, but I kind of missed my appointment, so I'm going to have to reschedule. So if they're looking a little sparse, that's why. But they're still, they're still holding up pretty good. Now that I'm done practically with my face, I, the last thing I go ahead and I apply is this Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Highlighter. And then I just use James Charles Morphe M224 brush along with this 
finishing mist spray from MAC. I just give it a good shake. I go ahead and I apply some of the highlighter to the end of this brush. And then I also spray it just to kind of make it stick a little better to my face. Dry it off a little bit and I just dab it on the cheeks of my bone right here. And I just kind of do it in this corner and I kind of go up my face just a little bit. And I do two coats of that. And then I just put a little bit on the end of my nose. So I just dab it on right there at the end of my nose. And then I go ahead and I do it on the bridge of my nose. Just go up in a straight line, kind of just press it on. And I'm kind of feeling being a little extra today. I don't always do this, but I'm going to go ahead and add it in the inner corners of my eyes. So I just kind of dab it on, dab it on to both sides. And that's that. The last thing to finish off my makeup look is my lips, of course. I think I'm just going to be doing a liner with lip gloss. I'm going to be taking the Spice Lip Pencil by MAC. And it's literally all messed up at the end. And I can't find my pencil sharpener, so I just kind of go with it. It's not a perfect sharp end, but I just, you know, I just do what I do. And that is what the lip liner looks like. The last thing I'm going to be applying to my lips is this Fenty Beauty lip gloss that I got from Sephora. So that completes my everyday makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm not a makeup guru, but I do love doing makeup and I like you know, getting pretty for the day. I just went ahead and put on like this red sweater with a white tank top and it is so Christmas vibes over here. And I put these cute Santa Claus earrings on. I absolutely love it. And then I did do like a burgundy red for my eyeshadow to kind of match my red vibes for today because my husband and I are gonna be baking Christmas cookies and probably gonna be doing our gingerbread houses. And so I just wanted to get into the Christmas vibes for today. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we will see you guys in tomorrow's video. Don't forget to like this video and go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Bye guys.